Um, <clears throat> it's like, uh, I want to talk about cryptids, man. There's a lot of cryptids. Cryptids basically like a mythological creature or a creature that is extinct, thought to be extinct, and or uh, but actually find out that it's still alive. Or, to some extent, undiscovered actual uh, species of, of animal. Uh, or, you know, there's many different, like Bigfoot, okay? That's that's so common of a, of a cryptid. It's just, it's unaccepted by science. But look, if one was discovered, dude, it's already been discovered because people talk about it all the time. It's, it's like long documentedly talked about, okay? Like, uh, giant birds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, uh, kind of a cryptid that, you know, it's like, uh, oversized birds. I mean, that's one thing you could think of. Is it, uh, a throwback, a genetic, uh, throwback, or is it a hybrid? You know what I'm saying? But, hybrids can only exist between animals that can mate together. Like, uh, they found a polar grizzly. They didn't think those existed, but they, somebody shot one on accident. It's not quite a cryptid, but like a giant grizzly would be a cryptid of sorts if there was a legend of that, but I haven't heard of one, but, um, you know, you got the, um, like a dire wolf you have, uh, which is an extremely large wolf, like, or if you heard someone got attacked by a saber-toothed tiger, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you also have, like, uh, the dog man and werewolves and Rougarou. I mean, the fact Rougarou in France, they believe that in werewolves over there. Because, I mean, a lot of Vikings migrated to France. So, with them, just like over here in America, of course, that legend of the werewolf. But the Vikings used to dress, their berserkers would dress in wolf skins. And the Indians also used to dress in wolf skins, and I'm not, I'm sure, you know, uh, some tribes worship wolf spirits, you know, they worshipped animal spirits, so, it's like, uh, that makes sense that it was believed in, but is it an actual, has anyone actually caught one and, and filmed it, like a man transforming, or an actual, like, uh, a creature that's actually a, a dog, like human, I mean, there's, reports that there were tribes of dog people in the middle ages but some guy said that he just that was a way of being racist at the time saying that these people were really ugly like they even call some people monkeys you know what i'm saying to this day this is one of these strange but hey we look at them and call them lizards you know what i'm saying so i mean it's there's a lot of this calling people names by animals but is the, are these really hybrid shapeshifters? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think so, but... You got, like... River monsters. You know what I'm saying? There's, like, this thing called Ogopogo. There's Loch Ness Monster. But they're these... They say that they're just dinosaur prehistoric things. But, I mean, dude, look. There was a, a, a strong belief in sea monsters a few hundred years ago when they were still exploring the oceans and people were out there. They have found the giant squids... You know what I'm saying? They have, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure if there's a giant squid, there's probably giant octopuses. I mean, giant snakes. Like, uh, I've heard of legends of giant snakes, uh, in, in Canada. Freaking, uh, where they're not supposed to exist. But I mean, that's like, you know, if you look at, in, there, there's stuff that, like, lives its life totally away from us, like, in the water. For sometimes and, and also right in the ground there's all kinds of um insectoid species that live live in the ground we never even see them so i mean could there be other creatures that live in there like uh the alligators in the sewers come to find out this is this is legit that they really is alligators in the sewers it's like a human induced kind of uh environmental change that allowed them to but i mean it's like, that's kind of a form, That's a, they call that an urban legend, but that's also a kind of a cryptid. I mean, I've heard of rept, reptilianoid creatures uh, that live in caves and sewer systems and then out in the wild. Like, there's some frogman creature. Like, look, 
I mean, and in in the past, you have the the idea of the chimera or the satyr. You know what I'm saying? And even I've heard some people say that the 200 horsemen in the Bible are actually satyrs. You know, not, they're not satyrs, but uh, what the heck are those things called, man? Scimitars, man, which are these horsemen. Uh, and that was Greek during the Greek uh, mythology period, man. I mean, and look, uh, during that time, supposedly, there was this genetic tampering going on with these extra, uh, these angelic uh, creatures, which could mate with anything, you know what I'm saying? So they made all these kind of crazy creatures. And, uh, you know, it's like, uh, right, even like right now, because of genetic tampering, we really could get a real deal of... A uh, hybridized mutant thing through the genetic tampering with the capabilities that they got now, and even during the um, alien abduction, you would you would see uh, many people give accounts of them uh, tampering with their genetic components about you know chicks getting their eggs snatched, dudes getting their getting their uh, you know stuff drained, and, you know, and they're using it to make some kind of hybridized program. I mean, a gray alien would be. Uh, uh, cryptid of sorts because it's not proven by science to exist. It's it's thought to be uh, mythology or made up or just you know urban urban legend folklore. Um, but you know I mean you got gnomes, dwarfs, fairies. These are all kind of more cryptids you could you could think of. Um, um, you know a fire breathing dragon, freaking uh, uh. Let me think some more for encrypted. You know, you got many variations of Bigfoot. You got Skunk Ape, it's down in Florida area, and you got Ohio Grassman, but they all seem to be like Bigfoot. It's a worldwide phenomenon. In the Himalayas, you got the Yeti. Um, but then they're looking for this Gigantopithecus giant ape, and they're saying, is this just a, a relative of that? I mean, you know, that's what they say. On the freaking on the crazy channels, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I've heard of these things called atmospheric beasts. You know what I'm saying? Freaking, uh, and they're like these giant creatures that fly and float in the sky, and they're freaking basically like invisible. I mean, that's an interesting, uh, interesting concept there. You know, you got the concept of the orb. You know what I'm saying? Which is, is it is it a craft or is it a creature? You know what I'm saying? There's is it a spirit, a sprite, fairy mounds? Is it like uh like at it's funny, like at Skinwalker Ranch, there's reportedly hauntings and UFOs. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's kinda interesting how these things kinda coincide. Like I've heard even some people claim that it's just the alien, he uses a he can slip into a Bigfoot suit, he can slip into a a, a freaking um werewolf suit he can uh slip into different kind of suits he can slip into a, a men in black i mean men in black are kind of a cryptid of sorts but i'm not sure how to exactly classify them like it's almost a specter a spirit a ghost kind of a thing or a demon what is a demon or a jinn a genie is that a cryptid i mean i'm not sure but look these things all kind of uh this is all the same kind of uh spooky type stuff you got the el chucabra goat sucker uh but, but this thing kind of overlays with the academy later but that also would overlay with a freaking uh with a skinwalker freaking you know some predator thing you know what i'm saying um they're like you know i've seen these coyotes with real bad mange and like blue eyes and maybe are they vampire coyotes that just suck the blood uh but or is it that these aliens are jumping down and taking the genetic organs out of a cow Freaking like so they can in some kind of artificial womb create a chimera, you know, and plant in the ground so it could pop out in a, like a locust in the times right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but it's interesting stuff. There's a lot of different, uh, you know. Uh, look, I guess uh, uh, th does the government actually make freaking creatures? Wouldn't surprise me, man. There's that yerky. Yerky uh, primate research project. That's pretty trippy stuff there. Um, and they've tried to f make hybridized animal human 
uh, war machines in the past. It's, you know, so I mean, it's like, uh, and also you've seen Jurassic Park where they took DNA of things and tried to recreate dinosaurs. I'm sure they've tried to do this type of thing, but so I mean, it, the apes were just discovered in the last hundred years, man, and they formerly were thought to be. Uh, just a uh, legend and folklore and freaking just rumor and just wild uh savage you know uh those are just wild savages don't know what they're talking about but so there there still is possibilities that there's other creatures and life forms out in the world that's undiscovered or even some just remain hidden because they're like a cult you know what i'm saying uh that's another thing that with the academy letters they also say maybe there's a a strange cult out there that like does rituals with animals i mean and this is uh they used to cut open animals and do sacrifices with them and, and like use their entrails to um prognosticate man and tell the future basically so i mean it is possible but uh you know, like the satyr thing there's a thing called sheep squatch where it's basically like a, it's almost like a Bigfoot, but it's got claws and big horns and hooves. It's like nine feet tall. Pretty freaking spooky. You know what I'm saying? Supposedly also out in like out in the mountains, man. Freaking what is it? The Rockies or something like that. In that area, Appalachia. There's uh strange creatures that live in caves, man, and they got like technology. They can come out like beam you and freaking um shoot you with rays man like uh yeah the jersey devil you know what i'm saying which is this thing supposedly still seeing some freaking spirit creature that just harasses people and it's uh sounds pretty freaking pretty strange like the mothman dude there's this creature and he can hypnotize people with his eyes and he always shows up where disasters are can take place and i swear i seen something that it looked like the freaking Mothman. It, it was far away flying, but what was weird is its wings looked like this. They were like two, they were round and they didn't flap, and it kind of went like this. But I seen this thing right before freaking uh, the Flint water crisis, which is interesting that I actually seen. I thought I seen the Mothman, freaking, and then something crazy got announced about locally in the area. So. There's a reason why, you know, I freaking, you know, kind of like cryptids, you know, like my grandma used to, used to yeah. go down this one, tr this scary road and she called it the deer maniac trail and she said it was a half deer and half man, but it was a joke. She was, she was just, you know, messing with me, but you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it's, it runs in our culture to be kind of superstitious anyway, kind of believe, uh, in crazy stuff. So you know, uh, is an angel, would that be considered a cryptid? Because people believe that's just fairy tales. They don't really exist. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But uh, it's it just like I never necessarily heard a great alien be described as a cryptid. But it kind of fits the definition. You know what I'm saying? It's a thing previously thought to be mythological or uh, that previously uh, was it thought to not exist anymore. Freaking... Uh, Something to that effect, but it's it, it's a pretty uh, interesting subject, man, and just a hobby to follow, kind of like all the strange accounts. Like I read in this one book about the goblin from Detroit, and it was a little goblin that would show up, and before disasters, and it would also.